Yo, what's going on, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Friday, February 19th, 2021. And uh, we made some moves in Splinterlands, dude. Some Splinterlands moves. We went out on the market and bought ourselves some gold foil legendaries. We did it. So we went out and picked up our, ourselves three gold foil lightning dragons. You know, I'm trying to make a meme in Splinterlands. There already is somewhat of a meme going on in Splinterlands. 10,000 for the alpha lightning dragon gold foil legendary. 4,499. Cryptomancer's got it up. So I was like, you know what, dude? I'm doing it to the beta. To the beta, boys. Oh, you cucks out there. So we picked up Lightning Dragon, bro. There's only 41 of these up there. If you got one, put it up. And I'm buying that shit. Put it up. Fucking buying it. That's the price, dude. Gold foil legendary. Lightning Dragons. $44.99. That's the price. So I picked up a couple of them. There's only 41, you know. I've always known this anyway. Like, these gold foil legendaries are rare as shit. I mean, look at this. 30, 31, 32, 40, 41, 44. There's only a handful. I mean, you know. If you got big hands, bruh. There's only, you know, 41. There's only 41 of this card. So if, and you need four of them to make a, a max, right? Is that what you need? Four to make a max? Yeah, you need four to make a max. So who's gonna have these cards? And then once you get four and combine it into one card, well then, you know, th three of them are pretty much gone because you combine them. You can't uncombine them. You can't take them back. So the, the reason that I, uh, I decided to do this was because yesterday I read this article from Splinterlands and they said that they're going to start putting their cards on wax so I was like you know what dude this this could be pretty big this could be a thing like with all these NFTs and all these dudes going crazy and shit now Splinterlands is going to let you mint cards on wax and it's coming up today in just a couple hours uh, by the time this video release, I'm live right now, but by the time this video releases, it'll probably already be out. I don't know how long it's going to take to fucking upload. Um, so you can transfer your shit to wax and it's going to be like a Blanco's thing. It's going to be like a, a mint number. These things are going to have mint numbers. And you know, people just go fucking goo goo gaga over that shit, dude. So that's my thing. Like, yo, these things are rare as fuck to begin with in the game. Then you're going to put another level of scarcity or uniqueness to it as far as a, a wax chain mint number. It don't mean diddly shit, but you know how people do. You know, people be fucking nutty, fucking crazy and shit, right? You're probably one of them. So I figure, hey, I'll just buy a couple, you know, I'll put them up for sale, man. I'll mint one. Hopefully I get a high mint, low mint. Excuse me. Hopefully I get a low mint and then, you know, it'll be sweet, right? You know, uh, a couple funny things though about this post. Splinterlands uh, is the official verified account on wax without the E. <clears throat> Somebody must have made an account Splinterlands. And uh, I guess Splinterlands had to make their own shit without the E, so misspell. So that's a little unfortunate and a little shitty, but it doesn't really matter. Another thing that sucks is the stupid bots that's making me say fuck Splinterlands for real, for real. For real, for real, bet. Like, you can transfer your shit to Wax and then mint number matters. So when this comes out at like 11 a.m. Eastern or whatever, you know, people are going to be rushing to fucking do it. Hold up. <clears throat> fucking shit. Got a 
all these goddamn distractions over here, y'all bitches. Better leave me the fuck alone. Make it a goddamn video. Anyway. So, they say, uh... You know, whatever the fuck. What are they saying, this bitch? They say... They say some shit in here. Uh, all right, here we go. Mint numbers. Splinterlands fully supports players trying to be the first to mint each type of card, even though it don't add diddly squat in value, right? So they're like, look, we fully support players trying to be the first to mint or players to collect the low numbers, right? But then it's like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Like a human race, that would be cool. Everybody's trying to do it. The problem is this, transferring assets to wax. Additionally, bots or other automated scripts may transfer any of the above assets to the SL-Wax account in the game. Like that's what sucks. So these people that know what they're doing can simply just fucking create a script Create some fucking code and on the dot, 11 on the dot, when Splinterlands runs it out, they can just mint all their fucking cards. Boom. And be to have the first mint. That's corny. That makes me hate Splinterlands. For real. It really does. It makes me not like Splinterlands. Because that's bullshit. Why am I a human wasting my time when really I should just get a bot? Just pay somebody to make a fucking bot and say fuck Splinterlands. I'll just farm, right? Splinterlands is a bot farm. So that's annoying as fuck. You know, they're going to have to figure that out because people are going to be like me, dude. Either either the game's going to go all bots, which that is what's going to happen. So the game's going to go all bots. <laughs> yes, done. That's what's going to happen. You know, I mean, and that's fucking annoying as shit. The same thing uh, is when you play the game. When you play fucking Splinterlands and you got people running bots that are playing the game. So they're farming all crazy on Splinterlands. And they're getting their dark energy crystals and they're farming until their capture rates like 80% or whatever they do. 70%, whatever, you know? They have a set rule with the bot, the script. So they farm. And I'm sitting over here making videos and playing the game like a fucking dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm playing the game like a retard. So that's corny. It's not a level playing field. That's that's like the NFL being like, all right, half y'all motherfuckers can have robotic arms and legs, steroided juice to the gills, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. If you want to have fucking 10 foot long spikes on your cleats, go ahead, go ahead. And then there's other people that are playing like normal humans, like, bro, I got blood and skin, arms. What the fuck? My legs are natural. Uh, you know, like, it's gonna force out all all the robotic players are gonna force out all the human players and that's exactly what's gonna happen with splinterlands unless they fucking do something about it i don't know why they like this shit and they leave this shit well i mean i do know why it's because it pads their numbers you know it's the beginning of splinterlands it pads their numbers it allows uh like on dat radar or any measuring unit where you're looking at blockchain you could see the volume how many players how many games each game is a transaction on the on the blockchain so if they have multiple bots that are just playing 24 7 it makes splinterlands look like it's the shit like it's super active when really it's just a bunch of bots it's a bot farm so i'm really you know shitty about that you know it's kind of like torn because i like the game but i'm not going to be a fucking douche and be on the wrong end i'm not going to sit here and waste my time and play the game when bots are playing the game and ripping me and destroying me and getting way better advantage than i am so there's that throw that the fuck out there to aggro to matt and all you bot loving motherfuckers game won't last if it's bot that's that's my opinion of course it's it's my opinion but I'm, it's probably fucking right It'll just be a bot game. Everyone will have a bot. Bots will be more common. And that's corny, you know? And if that's what happens, that's what happens. Whatever. So anyway, what I did was I bought three of these bitches. I traded some Ethereum. You know, I had some, I had some ETH, right? I had some fucking ETH over here just sitting. And I'm like, yo, let me throw some fucking ETH over into Splinterlands, you know? I'm not, I'm not entirely excited about all the fucking bots in the game. 
and all the, of the bots that are gonna be able to mint. But let me get a couple gold foil legendaries before they fucking moon, because they think they will moon. Now, these are probably like 50 bucks, these gold foil legendaries in the past. I think they were, and I just slept on them all crazy. But I didn't have that much money back then, so right now I had a little bit extra, and that's what I decided to do. So, Splinterlands, bots, it is a problem. Splinterlands on wax, it's gonna be cool. It's just a whole nother market, and uh, we'll see where it goes. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank y'all for watching. Later!